All right, you want, you want to do it again? Yeah, I'm recording. Just, 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 just all right, recording right now? Yeah. Okay, all right. Ho, oh, heaven on earth. Holiness and reverence. Thanks for joining us on Blood, Blood Over and Ten podcast. We have Akhenon Rocking from YouTube joining us. Yep, yeah, Akana Rocking on YouTube. Yep. Sp- gotta spell it out for you. Heaven on earth. So yeah, I, I wanna I wanna ask you, Akanaan, um how you um stumbled upon uh um, Blood Over Intent. You know, and where well, kinda where you, you've come from, where where you're at where you're at the time and where you are now. Well when I was first getting interested into it, I was researching spirituality. And people like Infinite Waters and Aaron Dowdy and Crystal Quartz and a bunch of these other random spiritual videos and philosophers. And I was down the rabbit hole searching videos for like six hours and I came across Quartz Crystal and she hypnotized me for a little bit. And then I went into Blood Over Intent and I was like, no, no, yeah, quartz, quartz crystal. That's from YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay. Now you got into blow over intent, and uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. As soon as I saw the video of Satan's uh, Prince of Darkness in 2012, I thought this is going to be me when I when I evolve, when I understand what this blood over intent is about. So I gave it a couple years, and then I did it a couple years later. And I wanted to make the videos about crying out to Lucy, where you're spilling your blood into the earth, and looking at the sun at high noon. So I did that, and I went vegan, and I went on and off right now. I'm on and off of it, and it makes me feel full of light and full of energy for heaven on earth. And I've, while I was researching all the flat earth and stuff I was also looking into veganism I did okay. I did lots of research on that too so I know it's the best diet for the human species that we know of uh huh and I use that as part of one of my tools to bring forth heaven on earth as well as subtlety and being peaceful and nowadays, I'm just all about enlightenment and wisdom and being peaceful. Okay. Yeah, I can hear I hear that in the background. I got some uh, nice soothing music going. That's oh, that's good. Got it. It's uh, it's from the heart and uh, being in uh, balance inside your universe or universe is. Uh, it's no 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 uh, small task. So, you know. So as far as uh, you get into blow over intent, um, how, how many times um, have you done it? I've done it maybe like thirty times. Over okay. The past four or five years, you know, not a huge amount, but. Enough to make me feel satisfied, you know. I'm not one yep. of those kind of person who spills all their blood of their body yep. just to die like I'm living for this cause. Yep. Yeah, this uh yeah, that's the whole whole point of this uh this this gnosis is to know, know thyself. And uh, it's a sacred act. You know, it's the blood over divine intent. The spear of destiny is what you hold when you spill your blood because it's the most powerful thing in the universe. And the creator is you. And you're co creating your hell on earth right now. You know? We gotta yeah. Be 
warriors of heaven on earth, 144,000 blood thick. Yep. Want to come together for a common cause of survival. Yeah, what else is here to, there to do here? Yeah, cook this frog slowly. You know, make videos. Uh, shovel people's walks, mow their lawns. Send out cookies, you know. Donate uh -huh. to the food bank. Volunteer. Get out there and do something. Yeah. Oh yeah. We yeah, We have to do something. Cause uh, if we don't, we don't do it now. Then when, when you know, what are we gonna do it? You got a lot to prepare for, so you got to put your mind, body, and soul into this, and activate and push button the results you want in life by manifesting it with your intent and action. You know, you're a very powerful creator and the 144,000 got it in them to bring, drag this, drag everyone to the Holy Grail, you know? Yeah. Possibility of eternal life, right? We have, we have a potential here. We have to seize and you know, take advantage of. We all have potential, so it's uh, you know, all the knowledge is out there, and it's always in, even in here inside of you as you uncover gnosis as within, so it's out. Well, your creator is always recording you, so it it's a consciousness where you know it's recording, so you can be your best self in that moment all the time. Yeah, black hole computer. You see you see that that article? <laughs> the, the black hole computer, you know, a black hole beneath their feet, you know, connected to spirit. Yeah. So it's uh, all the information is there, you know? Yeah, you gotta have your eyes on the prize. Yeah, that's what it is. It, unless you have your eyes on you know, about your reality, you know, looking Looking at different angles of it, you're not gonna. You know, we never, we never figure it out. You'll put your mind in, in uh, an spirit or something. Of your creator, and you're either here to mine gold, or bring forth heaven on earth. You know. Yeah, hold us in reverence, brother. Definitely. There's nothing else here to do. Everything is all. It's all been done. Done before. That's the only one thing that hasn't been done here. Yeah, put the puzzle together, do the math, and calculate what it takes, and do the yeah, we, we, uh, the guiding and the navigating, and just come together and have have everyone together and gangbang the holy hole. Yeah, we need to do that together as far as um, a collective. You know, we can uh, one man or one person or one woman uh, you know, can't change this place. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. even just one person putting gallons of blood or the whole body's blood, you know, it's like well, why God has fors forsaken thee, you know what I mean? It's like if there was a, a person, it's uh, they were crucified, you know? And... Uh, uh, so it's just not, you know, one person's blood is not going to do it, you know, blood magic, you know. So as you know, that when you do an act like this, it, uh, it ex I, I believe, my, my experience, it, it expands your consciousness and awareness in some type of ways. I don't even know how to explain. Do, do you, from, from your perspective, um, by doing, you know, the act of taking your world water or your your spiritual currency, you know, putting over your intent, you know, into the the internet or Ethernet, you know, into Ethernet, um, has your consciousness 
expand it since then? I mean, as far as like your awareness of, of self, oh, yes. or, or, or your, your awareness of like your, your where you live, you know, where you come from, uh, what you can do here, you know, etc. Yeah, I felt like I connected with my ancient DNA soul, um, spirit, fractal of Akhenaten, just the ancient knowledge of that. So I, I knew the pyramids were being made out of hard labor and telekinesis. So I, I set a goal for myself to learn telekinesis and, and bring forth heaven on earth and be vegan and uh, just make videos for, for everyone to see. And that's why I'm out here putting these cooking channels on for all you guys who don't know how to make plant-based meals. I have the answers there, and I, I'm just looking for all the truth I can find and pick every little bit of information from every conversation with everything, including the telepathy with the trees and the universe around you. It's huh? Well, have you, I, what, what have you been? Uh, you've been studying that as a recent, or what? Were have you developed any skills? Yeah, I've been able to push a paper over, pull a paper over, and okay. just have a closer connection with the animals and the trees and the sun. Okay. Yeah, are you? I, I've seen some videos on the thing. His name's uh, Trapper Seven. Yeah. On on YouTube. Yeah, I learned from him. Shout out to Trevor Seven. Oh, you did? Okay, so all right. Of uh, teaching telekinesis, that's really informative and can be picked up on in a couple of weeks. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually I bought his, some of his um his armor. Yeah. Yeah, I think I bought it a few times. It was some good stuff. It was really really good. Do you do Warp telekinesis? Oh. Uh, I've never, I, I've, I've done it in my dreams before. I, I've done it a bunch of times in my dreams. Uh, I kind of get an itching, an inkling to do it. You know, I, you know, in some type of ways. Uh, but yeah, no. I, the most I've done is uh, maybe I've dabbled in astral projection. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that was. Uh, I got scared though. I, uh, I, I was very so close. I basically got to a point where I was stuck in a, a, a tornado. A vortex yeah. of energy so powerful and i got so freaked out I'm like what the fuck is this like yeah, this for vortex me, for me telekinesis has just been a part of uh enlightenment and being able to take energy from the black hole sun to show to show the real power of the human okay now that weren't what you, so you, you basically follow some of trevor Stephens protocol huh yeah. um have you seen some other? There's some other telekinesis, uh, uh, seven, master. Seven I, Rise. I'm in blood. Okay. Content. Seven Rise. He, uh, he had a formula. The mind, um, what well, the mind formulates it, the task. Consciousness controls the nervous system. And internal currents affect the outward expression. Okay. And that's how you do telekinesis and other kinesis out there. Wait, can you say that again? What did you just say? One more time? The mind formulates the task. Consciousness okay. affects. Consciousness controls the nervous system. And internal currents affect the external expression. Okay, now internal currents like as far as like uh your body uh, and your breath and your blood. You know So get get so are you gather internal currents like in your stomach or something like that and, and yeah, pushing them out? Throughout your whole body and your aura. Okay, so all your body at one time, through your hands, to your your chest, to your legs, everywhere, huh? Okay. And that comes outwardly in the kinesis, like. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know, I, I, I see what I could feel what you're saying. I've, yeah. I've done it before. I think in dreams, though, I've sucked in like energy through my whole body, and I've, uh, you know, I've pushed things or I've done things. Wow, incredible. 